Once you have enabled the time clock feature within Jolt, you'll be able to select it at the top of your menu within the mobile app. Select the time clock option, then tap on the name of the employee. A camera will load and take a picture of the person who's clocking in so the admins can verify that's the right person. Enter the four digit pin and select clock in. You'll then see that that employee is clocked in under the status. If an employee forgot to clock in and manual punches are enabled, you'll be able to click on the employee's name, enter in the four digit pin like normal, and then select the forgot to clock in option. You can then select the time that that employee was supposed to clock in, let's say 10 a.m. They will have to enter in a reason, which will then be shared with the admins. You can enter something such as forgot to clock in. Then I'll select the clock in option. You'll see a notification that this punch has been flagged because it is a forgot to clock in punch, letting the employee know that their manager will be reviewing this. Select done. Then you'll see that that employee is clocked in as well. And when it comes time to clock out, select the name again, enter in the four digit pin, and then select clock out. If you've enabled breaks, you can click on the employee's name, enter the pin again, and select start break. You'll then see that they're logged as being on break in yellow under the status. When it's time to finish the break, enter in the pin, enter an end break. There's also an option if you forgot to end your break as well, same as clocking in and out. I'll select end break and done. And now I've ended my break. Employees will also be able to check their time clock punches by going to login on the top of the screen, entering in their name, selecting their pin. Then you'll see a my time card option right underneath the login. Select my time card and you'll see all punches that are within the current pay period.